Yo, what is good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dopey and welcome back to a brand new GTA 5 video here on my channel. Now before we start the video, I just want to go ahead and say a few things. Now first of all, thank you guys so much for the support. It's been awesome you guys. God bless you for that. But unfortunately, Rockstar did copyright strike me earlier this morning. So now I have one copyright strike on my channel, so I cannot upload any more GTA 5 solo money glitch videos. So if I get two more copyright strikes, my channel will be terminated, so I won't be posting those on the channel anymore. But the good news is, is that the copyright strike goes away in 90 days, which is pretty dope. And to be honest, there is really no future doing GTA 5 money glitches if they're just going to copyright strike you for doing it. You can't grow on YouTube and do money glitches because you'll just get three copyright strikes eventually. I just don't want to lose everything I worked so hard for and just lose it over money glitches. And I encourage everyone to do the same thing. Think about your channel before you upload money glitches. But however everyone, let's get started with the video. Now getting into the video, I'm going to show you guys how to make some pretty good money in GTA 5 online solo. Now the first method is the terabyte which I recommend buying in GTA if you guys have a nightclub. Now, however, if you guys choose to buy a terabyte, which I highly recommend, you could be making money from your terabyte solo. Now, you can do this in invite-only sessions as well. Now, we're going to be doing the client jobs, which are pretty fun. We're going to be doing the mission diamond shopping. Now, I definitely like how Rockstar added these missions to the terabyte. They're super fun, and they're pretty fast. But however, let's get into the method. Now starting off the mission, all we have to do is launch the drone and take out the alarm system inside of the jewelry store. And then all we have to do is take out the guards holding the diamonds and that's pretty much about it. Now once inside, take the diamonds, go ahead and dip, and turn it into the drop off. But however, that's pretty much it for the first method you guys, I hope you really enjoyed it. However, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, I recommend checking out the missions in GTA Online. I know they don't pay as well, but they are very good for RP, and we're gonna be doing that here in the video. Now, I just chose a random mission here in the video, which I highly recommend that you check out. It's a very fun one, it's called Time to Get Away. Now, all we have to do for the mission is pretty much save one guy and turn him into the airport, and that's pretty much about it. I recommend having the Chroma, by the way. If you guys don't, then it's going to be a little tough for you, especially with the mission being on hard and all, so I recommend having the Chroma. Now having the chroma made the mission go by a lot faster so like I did say the chroma is definitely worth buying. Now of course the longer you stay in a mission the more you will get paid and the more RP you will get so I recommend going somewhere once you do lose all the people here and simply rubber banding your controller and just chilling for at least 15 minutes and you'll get quite a bit of cash. But anyway you guys my name is Dopey, God bless and I will be seeing you guys tomorrow for another GTA 5 upload. Take care and God bless.